Hey, everybody. Uh, we're going to continue in our journey through the book of Colossians. We're going to pick up where we left off, which is Colossians chapter 1, verse 3. So let's pick up right there. Let's see what it says. We always thank God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we pray for you. Since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love that you have for all the saints... Because of the hope laid up for you in heaven, of this you have heard before in the word of truth, the gospel. So the first thing here that we're going to find out that Paul's thanking for, because Paul is giving a list of things that he's thankful for, is we see that Paul is thankful for the Colossians' faith, love, and hope. Paul loves to use these, these three uh, attributes together. And this time is no different. First, he says of their faith in Jesus Christ, their love for the others, which comes from their faith in Jesus Christ, and the hope that they have in the future with Christ. Paul is thankful that they are characterized by these three things. What an amazing testimony that this Colossian church already has. But he doesn't stop there. In verse 6, he goes on and he says this, which has come to you as indeed in the whole world it is bearing fruit and increasing as it also does among you since the day you heard it and understood the grace of God in truth. The second thing he's thankful for is the fact that the gospel's going out. We see there at the end of verse 5, it says this, before in the word of truth, the gospel which has come to you as indeed in the whole world. The New Living Translation puts it this way, and I, I'm giving this to you so you can see exactly what is going on here. It says that this same good news that came to you is going out all over the world. It is bearing fruit everywhere by changing lives, just that it changed your lives from the day you first heard and understood the truth about God's wonderful grace. The reason I gave it to you in the New Living Translation is for uh, two reasons. Number one, I like how it emphasizes the long term, how wide the gospel is going, but it also talks about the practicality of what God was doing with the gospel. It wasn't only going wide across the land in those days, but it was also cutting and changing and making an impact in the Colossians' lives. What a great, again, another great testimony of this Colossian church. That it had changed their lives, but not only had it changed their lives, but it was changing the lives of other people all across the land at that point in time. Paul was being thankful that God was in the business of changing lives. And the last but not least, we meet a guy by the name of Epaphras. Epaphras. Uh, Verse 7 reads, Just as you learned it from Epaphras, our beloved fellow servant, he is a faithful minister of Christ on your behalf and has made known to us your love in the Spirit. Paul is saying, I am thankful for the testimonies of not only of Epaphras, but also of you, that you love people. Here's, here's the thing. What it all boils down to is asking, one simple question of us. The first thing is, would people be thankful for your faith, your love, and your hope? Are those identifying factors in your life? Can you see them, and are they interwoven in how you live? What about the gospel impact? Would people be thankful for your gospel impact? Are you spreading the gospel? Are you allowing the gospel to impact, to cut into your heart, to change who you are? And last, but would people be thankful for your witness? For your witness. Are you going out far and wide? Are you, allowing the, are you taking the gospel wherever you go and sharing it wherever you go? Is that, is that how you are? Is that who you are? Would people be thankful for that? Would Paul be thankful for the same things in the Colossian church in your life? That's the question that we have to ask ourselves. Well, we're just getting started in our journey through the book of Colossians, and I can't wait to see where it's going to take us. So I hope that you'll join me again in the next video.
See you guys real soon.